Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you the two different gauge wires I use for the two different size hoops that I'm currently using in my projects. I'm going to start with the 22 gauge wire. I use the 22 gauge wire in a 4 inch hoop. Reason being, it's a sturdy wire. It's much, it is not as soft. This has very little flexibility to it. If I put a, a 20 four gauge wire on there, it wouldn't, it wouldn't stand up as nice. So the way I measure, okay, a 14 inch wire in a four inch hoop is sufficient. And if you watched the videos, I did this one with a 14 inch wire because I didn't put too many of these little leafs and I put the beads in rows. Once you start getting a little fancy, and you start putting little leaves, you really need to go up a little bit on your length. This one here I also did with 14 inches and it was tight. So I think a 16 inch wire would have done this one perfect because of all these little beads that I add, not meaning to. Um, this little tree that everybody seemed to like, I did add the little leaves, but only a few and 14 inch wire was perfect for this little tree. So for a regular hoop, 14 inches will work for you. If you want to add little leaves, add a little bit more length to your wire. Okay, so we'll put that one aside. This one I did 16 inch and this one here, you can see all these little leaves. They are wire eaters. You need to use definitely a 16 inch wire. Takes a little, you know, a lot longer to do. So that's that on the four inch hoops. The next is the three inch hoops. I like to talk about these. Oh wait, before I do that, this next tree that I'm making, I already twisted it out and I used 16 inches because I'm gonna get fancy with it. I'm gonna add all kinds of little leaves and whatnot, but I will do it and I will record it. I had to show you that, something to look forward to. Okay, now, my favorite. I do like the four inch, but I really like doing my four seasons, and I do them in a three inch hoop. I haven't actually done a tutorial, but I have for the tree itself. It's like this. My favorite tree, I like the shape, I like the length of my trunk, so what I did I made another, well, this one is for winter, for my four seasons. And once you put your wires on your hoop, like this, and you start your twisting, it's a template. Put it on top of it. Measure it out. You like it right there. You want your trunk to be up there. Twist it. And then when you do, put it on top of your favorite. And there you go. You see? This little bit will line right up with that. So when I'm done making this little tree, they'll all be the same. Same length on the trunk. I like that. So pretty. Okay. If you like to go up a size on your hoop, this is a five inch hoop. Very pretty. Lots of little leafy things and this one here I use 18 inches of wire and I also use the 22 gauge for this. The only wire that I use the 24 is for a 3 inch hoop and you can actually use the 22 gauge wire on here. The problem is the, the thickness, the bendability, that's the right word. This one here is not as easy to get around into like this little space when you come up in between it, it does tend to get a little snagged up on you as opposed to this one here the 24 is more like a thread like it's really soft you can you can do anything with that and then i also use that to lace around the edges so there you have it guys 22 gauge wire and a four inch hoop 14 inches will work 16 will do you good if you want to make little leaves. You, you need to go up. But for just your basic tree, whether you 
put a few little leaves in it and you twist in between, that's a wire eater. So 14 will be tight on this, but 14 on something like this with just straight bead on bead, you can throw a little pretty, a few little pretty leaves in there. 14 inches should work good for you. The way to measure it without having to actually measure it, take your wire, right there, that's my root, and just go to the top. Now you're going to add for your bendability the twisting of your trunk and your branches. You're going to fold that there and then check it. That is 14 inches. You have room to do your trunk, your roots, and your branches. It'll look like that. Once you slip it onto your ring, it takes up a little bit of your, your wire. But then again, roots, trunk, and then you have this for twisting your trunk and your branches. Give yourself a little bit of extra wire. Better off if you have a little bit to cut, then try and tug and pull and make it work. So I'll see you on my next project. Bye for now, guys.